What's up, y'all? Today, we're going to be working on a 1999 Ford F-150. This is a two-wheel drive, not a four-wheel drive. And the project today is replacing the inner and outer tie rod. Left side, driver's side, and passenger side, right side. So the parts that we're going to be using to replace are these. On the left side you see the ES3365 and the ES3366. The top one is the uh, out, outer tie rod and the bottom one is the inner tie rod. And then on your right you got the ES3364 and the ES3367 and that's the right side the top one is the outer tie rod and the bottom is the inner tie rod so let's get going so first what we're gonna do is jack the vehicle up unless you have lift and so you lift it. Make sure you use a jack stand just in case your jack goes out on you. So on this job I'm just gonna do the driver's side to demonstrate how to remove the tie rod inner and out and then you can get the same you can get the concept of how to do it where you can do it on the passenger side. It's the same thing. First, we need to take the wheel cover off. Now, we will need to take the lug nuts off to take the wheel off. Here we're going to be replacing the tie rods. This is the outer tie rod and as you can see the bushing is cracked and there's no grease left in it. And then we're also going to be replacing the inner tie rod and that also is, be is cracked and everything and needs to be replaced. In time, the tie rods, the bushing cracks because of heat and wear. So um, it does need to be replaced. First things first, we need to mark these area so when we um, put it back, it can get close or exactly to where it was when it was taken off. Because if we don't, it's going to be way off a line. Now, we're not sure if the vehicle is perfectly aligned, but what we can say is we put it back to where it was. So there's a few things you can use to mark these. It's paint, pen, marker, whatever. Um, there's no wrong or right. So I'm going to use this kind of a marking marker. I don't know if you can see that but it's yellow and that's the marking where I'm going to reposition back to where it went we're not going to say that it was 
align properly or it was aligned but when we replace this we're going to put it back to where it was from when we take it took it off so that being said now what we're going to do is knock these bolt these nuts loose okay and uh, this one's gonna turn that way to the right and I think this one will do the same like so once we've done that we're going to go ahead and loosen up the uh, ball joint from the outer end and from the inner end and uh, keeping keep notes that these also have cotter pins on each end so we're gonna have to bend the cotter pins out and then break the nut off so we'll start with the outer tie rod first so with the outer tie rod we're gonna go ahead and bend the cotter pin out Bend as straight as possible if you can. Now the part comes with a new cotter pin, so you don't have to worry if you break this one. Okay, now we're going to tap that one out. And there goes that cotter pin there. And then we're going to take that nut off. It's going to be a 13 16 We'll go ahead and loosen up with a uh, impact. And there you are. We'll take that out. Now remember the parts will come with a new bolt and cotter pin. Now we're going to take this off. Now you could beat it out of it, but that's not the proper way of doing it. Now the proper tool to pop this ball joint out is this one. And you're going to slide that in right there and then you're gonna turn this bolt till it hits snug to the other bolt and then you're gonna get a 19 millimeter that's gonna snug against this bolt and then you're gonna turn it until it tightens up once it tightens up you're gonna slowly turn it and then it's gonna pop that ball joint out so you, as, well, as you're watching, it's going to snug, and there it goes. Now it's loose. It didn't take much pressure, didn't take much time. And that's the correct tool to use to take out a ball joint. Next, we're going to take the inner tie rod off. And to do that, we've got to take this cotter pin off. So we're going to bend that like we did with the outer tie rod. And we got to make it flat and straight so when it comes out it can so easily slide out. If not then we have to beat it out. And 
and there you go. That's like one of a thousand that you'll get a cotter pin straight so you can just simply pull it out. Next we're going to take the nut off. It's going to be a 13 16 just like that outer tie rod. Okay, and we're lefty loosey righty tidy. Uh, it's kind of tight so I'm going to use a breaker bar on this. We can go ahead and use this socket. It's always good to have all types of tools and proper tools because you never know when you're going to need it. It makes life and job easier. And there you are. So for the inner tie rod to get that ball joint out, uh, the outer tie rod, we can use this tool to take it off. But uh, for this, it's gonna need a much larger one. See the difference? Um, so we're gonna put this bolt into here and then slide that on. I think that's a better view for y'all, so we're gonna tighten this up to it gets close to that bolt. Then we'll get our 19 millimeter and slowly tighten this up so it can pop out. Slowly turn it until it pops. So here's the key you got to make sure this is aligned straight onto the bolt, or it will not out so keep that in mind All right. let's try this again popped out that that's that was a little bit of a challenge um, when it's screwed on there it's 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 pressed pretty much into that slot so now we have that disconnected so now that we got the outer tie rod and inner tie rod removed on the driver's side and that would make it left uh, make sure you have the correct part that you're going to replace and those are the two left side the driver's side okay and the other two is going to be the right passenger side so we're going to go ahead and do one side first and then we're going to do this end turn it and then put the new one on 
and do this side, turn it, and put the new one on. So, these are the two parts we're going to be replacing on this, and this is the driver's side, left hand side, that we pulled out. So, what we're going to do now, keep this in mind, we're going to put the alignment back in the same spot that we took it off of. So to do that, to do that, we gotta know how to count. So the hardware that comes with this new outer tie rod is the nut, outer pin, and the um, grease filler tip. Okay, put that to the side. Now, this part right here is the outer tie rod. Okay. So make sure you do not get it mixed up with the inner. Alright, uh, match it together side by side before putting it on. Here's the outer tie rod, and that's this. This is the inner tie rod. It comes also with a hardware. It comes with the um, the nut for this end, and then the nut for the cotter pin area. It has a cotter pin as well and a grease filler tip. Okay? So there you are. Don't get them mixed up. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to go ahead and turn this. So, when we turn it, we're going to count. Okay? So we started here, so we're going to do a complete turn, and we're going to count that as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 26 and a half. Okay? So we need to take this nut off and we're going to put it on the new one because it did not come with one. Go ahead and slide this all the way to the end. like so. So we're going to screw this back on and remember it was 26 and a half so we're going to start from here and screw it on. That's a half. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. Okay? Because we already did that half. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up this bolt right here. Well not tighten it, but at least put it to the end so we can keep it at that point. And then we'll do the same exact thing on the other side for the outer tie rod. Okay? So we're gonna count. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, so 28 close to 29, so 28 and a half, okay? So we need to put this new bolt we're going to put this new bolt onto here and make sure we Let's clean this up here. There's a lot of debris on there. We'll go ahead and put this on. Turn it all the way to the end. Okay, this will not go on. What is the deal? We'll turn this bolt all the way to the end. To right there. And we'll go ahead and put that on. So, um, here we go. Alright, so we're going to put this on, and we said about 28. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, it seems kind of tight. Let's see if we can clean this out because there's a lot of rust and stuff in here so we'll go ahead and spray it with some brake cleaner and brush it out so I'll be right all right back. after I've cleaned it let's see if it screws on better so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
28. Look, Mom, I can count. All right. 27, 28. So we screw this on. And there you have it. All right. So we got it close to where, where we took it off. Okay. So either way, towards the end, the vehicle will need an alignment anyway. Anytime you do mess with the suspension or steering, that's what you're going to have to do. All right, you're going to need alignment no matter what. All right, so let me point this out here. So these grease fillers right here, all right, on the um, inner tie rod, it goes here to the side. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put that on. And it's uh, you just screw it on. It's and then on on the outer tie rod, it goes on the top. Okay, so. And we'll go ahead and pre-film before we put them on the vehicle. So now I'm about to pre-fill these uh, bushings on both ends. Get my little grease gun here. Attach it. And I'm going to give it a few pumps, not too much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can feel it, see how, how much is going in. And I think that's good enough. We'll go ahead and disconnect that and go to the next one. Turn that around. And this part right here will be from the top. Tighten that up here. And start filling it up. back on the vehicle all right so now we're going to put the parts back on all right we're going to go ahead and slide the inner tie rod in Put the bolt on. And we're going to tighten that bolt.
remember there's going to be a cotter pin and so right now the cotter pin is should be in the spot we'll just slide that cotter pin in uh, maybe a little bit more Voila. Now the collar pin is in place. We can bend it and we'll get a needle nose here and bend that into place. We'll bend that one. Upwards. And that's the inner tie rod. Now for the outer tie rod. Go ahead and get that into the slot. Push it down. Put the bolt in. And we'll tighten this up just like we did with the inner tie rod to the slot where we can see the hole for the cotter pin goes into it should be right Right there. We'll go ahead and put this powder pin in. Go ahead and get it go this way. And there you have it. We have the inner and outer tie rod replaced. That's the outer tie rod. And then that's the inner tie rod. So now what we need to do next is we're going to tighten up the uh, center bolts that connects the tie rods so this needs to be tight like that and when the people when the shop aligns when you take it to the alignment shop this is what they're going to use to align it so we're going to go ahead and tight it a little bit but not too tight because um, they're going to need to adjust it later and there you have it if this video is helpful please let me know like the video this project right here is the driver's side but the same concept is going to be on the passenger side
If you have any comments, please leave it down below. If, uh, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. I'll be posting videos every week on repairs. If there's something that you want to know how to repair, uh, send me a message and I'll, I'll try to work on it for you. Uh, besides that, thank you for watching. After you've completed the work and put the wheel back on and torqued it down, last and not least, time to take it for an alignment. Perfect.